I have traveled from Norway and I'm on my way to dive with the great white sharks in South Australia. It is a five day expedition on board the MV Rodney Fox, taking us to the Neptune Islands. To dive in the bottom cage, we are heavily weighted. The wire is our main attachment to the vessel and it lowers us down to the sea floor, which is around 20 meters. In the cage, we are four people and the dive leader is in charge of the safety. Being in the cage with a closed door is a bit of a strange feeling. I do feel a bit confined, not having the freedom to swim to the surface at any time. But soon it feels like a blessing having the cage as our safety, especially with all of the travellies obscuring our view from what we have come here to see. So the real story here is that this is our third or fourth day in the bottom cage and we've had two dives in the bottom cage each day. It's been on the rotation because we're 15 people on board and each cage takes three divers and then one dive leader from the vessel. For a while, we thought that uh, we had to leave this trip without seeing a great white shark. And fortunately, here they are. I'm using my GoPro Hero 8 instead of my professional camera because uh, the GoPro is small enough to get through the um, viewing areas of the cage. And because there is so little space in the cage, it's easier to follow the sharks with this small camera. I can sort of get my arm out and follow the shark around a little bit at least. And in this particular instance, you can see the shark is being obscured by the Trevallis, but it's coming close. It's only two of us that see the shark coming really close to the cage. The other divers with their backs turned don't see this. So, you know, it's like we are trying to signal to each other when we see a shark because it's easy to miss them, believe it or not. And so we kind of like shouting and we are trying to bang each other or tap each other on the arm or kick each other in the, <laughs> in the legs or whatever in order to sort of say, hey, there's a shark here, there's a shark here, look at this. On a couple of occasions before, we heard of people, uh, some people seeing sharks in the cage and whilst others did not. And so um, you really need to keep your attention looking out into the blue or the green in this case, all the time. And of course, it was worth it. Being in the surface cage was a totally different experience. And we now have the action of two to three sharks coming in the vicinity so that we can see them interested in the chum that we provide, which is basically creating a scent in the water. And these are the gills uh, from tuna fish the surface cage, you basically are in a wetsuit. You don't have to be a diver. You put on a lot of weight to be negatively buoyant. So you feel anchored onto the floor of the cage. And these regulators, you are breathing air from the surface. 
and your job then is to enjoy and keep looking out into the blue for the action. We feel really privileged at this stage because for myself, I had spent probably close to like 10 hours in the water in the surface cage before we had this action on the second to last day. Not any one of us are taking this for granted because again, this is the second to last day of the expedition. And finally, we have three sharks circulating. We are getting the up close and personal experience that I believe we all came for. To see this majestically beautiful animal in its natural environment.